Didn't know where that one was going. No, the thing about Ye Xiao Ying at the net, she addresses the shuttle in exactly the same racket movement, whether she's going to play a spin net shot or whether she's going to hold and flick like that. You have no idea what's coming. That's good. Bang on the line. Five, six. Point of the match. A superb tactical play from Susie Suzanti, gradually outmaneuvering her opponent, keeping her patience, playing to all four corners of the court. And finally, the kill at the net was very simple. It's another one she's missed. Susie is working that area of uh, indecision of Ye Xia Ying down that she's not sure whether she should let it go or whether the drift to bring it back in court that was wide eight six Susie up Court coverage. Susie seems to be able to just get that extra half a meter in her lunges now to retrieve some of those shots that are dropped close to the tape. The smiles there. I'm sure it's uh, pretty much the same. Whatever happens, a mistake by Ye Xiao Ying, looking a little bit rattled as Susie edges closer to taking this second game. Nine points to six. Yes, in her mind has given up this game too. Dominating play. Second game point. Just long. Not much in it, but it was long. And I think highly appropriate that this match between two great champions does go to a third. And uh, there's life in the old girl, yeah. Susie Suzanti looking good in that second game. Yes, absolutely superb. And uh, Susie Suzanti, well, if she's known for anything, is her fighting spirit. They go off for a five-minute interval. We'll take a break. Back in a moment. Welcome back. We're still in the intermission between games two and three of this wonderful ladies singles final. Susie Suzanti coming back to take the second game from Ye Xiaoying. 
And I don't know how much we can ascribe to uh, Ye Xiao Ying's obvious dislike of that far end, or whether it was just a question of Susie playing better, Jill. I think, to be honest, Brian, a combination of the two, I have to say Ye Xiao Ying did look tentative to me when she was at that far side of the court, especially from the net. The hold and flicks weren't really pushed deep into court. Some of them were a lot flatter, which gave Susie the opportunity of intercepting and this is the big problem if she gives the shuttle height Ye Xiaoying from that far end the shuttle's going to go long and go out the back and therefore she's really in a quandary as to what to do and she's not playing her natural normal game having said that I mean a lot of credit to Susie Susanti who has up the pace and is certainly looking to take the shuttle as early as possible especially when it's hit down to her, her forehand side Susie certainly had enough gas left in the tank yesterday when she was taking three sets by Camilla Martin, winning it 11-2. It's just a question of now having taken uh, Final game. two Hello. matches in succession to three games, whether she'll start to suffer here against Please. the world's number one ladies player. So Susie Susanti, here we go, game three. Punishing rally. One. Yeah, Xiao Ying moving Susie all around the court. Good defense initially, but uh, service over. Superb smash from Susie Susanti. I think it's quite obvious at the start of this third game that Susie has realized that there's no danger as far as she's concerned if she wants to command the rallies. See, in that rally, she, she was totally on the defense, just re reacting to whatever Ye Zhao Ying threw it. And it didn't really work to her advantage. I'm a firm be believer that Susie is better, actually, when she's dictating the pass. Well, that was quite unbelievable. Well, the shot that Ye Xiaoying played there from the position that she played it. And it seemed to have rattled Suzanne Yes, Xiaoying in front, game three. 